the stuff that I just finished making. Um, they're mostly round. And now the next thing we gotta do is drill the holes. So I made this little like washer thing that fits into here and has the same uh, hole size as the circle behind it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a, the same bolt through them, then drill one hole, stick a, another bolt through it, then stick one there after I drill the hole, then do the same thing. Here we got, gosh dang the plane, I don't know if you can hear that, um, but here we got the hubs for the brake and the sprocket, but now we got to make the hub for the tire so we can attach that to this. So what you want to do first is like unbolt this so you have a pattern, but you want to make sure you let out all the air first, otherwise you're going to have a real bad time because this is going to explode in your face and I don't think that's fun. So that's what we're going to do now. So for the hub of this, basically all you're going to be doing is remaking this part, which I already like, have this thing just laying around, but this is too thin so I'm not going to use it. So if you want you can just like have one of these and just trace it out, or you can just like set down some graph paper, mark the holes, and then just make your own little design. You can make it as angular or round as you want, just make sure that it will fit inside this, otherwise you're going to have to do some sanding afterwards. So I'm just going to make it like this and maybe round up the edges to make it look a little bit better. So let's go cut that. Now that we got this all done, we just need a nice tube to go around the outside of this so it can extend out. Hopefully I have something in my scrap bin. Oh my gosh, look at that you guys, that's like exactly what I needed. It fits perfectly. Wow. Well it sure was lucky we were able to find this piece, but now we gotta make- <laughs> What it was saying is now we gotta make a disc that goes over this, so that way I can have a short piece of tubing. Uh, connects to this part unless of course we have one in my other scrap bin Well, I was real unfortunate that I couldn't find a piece. I guess I'll have to make one Dang. That one weld looks kind of fresh. I'm actually kind of proud of that weld. Everything else is crap, but that one weld, that looks pretty good and good. Let's take it back on the lathe and clean it up. All right, now that we have this little piece made, we gotta make the little spacer that's gonna connect this to that. And so what I do is I just take a piece of duct tape and I wrap it around until the edges mostly match. And then I just go and I clamp it in the vise and I grind this down with the flap disc until it's pretty dang close to being even. And then I cut it to length and do the same thing with the duct tape. So here's the piece that I just made. I added these little notches right here 
so that way they can fit around the bolts a little bit better um, and I made it all flat so I have this socket that I just wrapped in some duct tape so that way it fits nice and snug on this so I'm just going to tack that in place Now we have all these parts made. Um, this is how I'm gonna like put them on. So that will go there. This will go. This will go there. This made a little uh, spacer out of this scrap metal. Just like slides on nice and snug onto that. And so it'll just come on right there. Then I'll just weld it all up together and it should be nice and smooth. A little bit of cleaning up later and here it is. It's not my best work and hopefully it's not my worst. But it, I think it's strong enough. It should be strong enough. I could get the spacer out if I wanted to, but it kind of helps it to this just fit in snug. So that's kind of epic. And I put it on. Oh wait, this stupid bolt. That's pretty dang straight. Now I just have to make another one of these for the sprocket, and that's gonna suck. So, jump cut. Now I have both of these painted, and so I'm gonna take it outside. I'm gonna put, attach these to the wheels on the bottom, and then I'm going to try and work on the engine mounts so I can attach this engine to it. So, let's go. Now I have the hubs mounted to the wheels, but I have to make a bushing for here. So here is a quick tip when you're making your bushings. You're gonna wanna make sure, like you might think that this is enough space and it barely is, because when this twists, it almost reaches there. Like you can barely fit a finger in between that gap. So you just wanna make sure with that on the both the sprocket and the brake disc. Now I have this mocked up pretty good, I think, it's just sitting on a brick. Um, but the reason it's so far away is because I need a clearance gap for, uh, I don't even know, the transmission, I guess. Um, my original idea was going to have it, like, come straight out like this and cut this at an angle on the edge. But I'm thinking that instead I'm going to have it come up, like, perpendicular to it so it comes up at an angle. And then I'm going to have this match that angle. Okay guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, sorry. But if you did, you can leave a like and subscribe. Uh, the next video for this will be in a month or so. Because if I got to wait for the chain to arrive. Um, but the next video on my channel will be probably a Predator bike update. Because I just ordered a torque converter and should be here in like 5 days. Um, and I'll be doing a collaboration with Down to a Science. He's pretty epic. And you should check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description. But until next time, goodbye.